Area religious leaders and scholars say they were surprised by the news this afternoon. Fox 11's Beth Jones brings us multiple views. It's a big surprise uh, to everybody, but uh, you know, the church is full of surprises, especially when the Holy Spirit takes over. Bishop David Ricken says he was surprised, not only because the new pope wasn't someone well known, but also because the decision came so quickly. St. Norbert Religious Studies professor Tom Bolin felt the same way. This ranks as, uh, you know, one of the three fastest conclaves in the last 100, 100 or so years. Bolin says there were really no decided front runners this time around. That's why he expected the conclave to go at least through Thursday. Pope Francis's age also came as a surprise. He is 76 years old, and I think, um, some people thought going into the conclave the Cardinals were going to find a, a younger man, but clearly his uh, qualifications for the job, which were uh, enough to garner him a good number of votes in 2005, apparently uh, that, that uh, sentiment still held. Pope Francis is the first Jesuit pope. Bishop Ricken says it's unclear what role that could play. They're, de they're dedicated to the intellectual life, and so they've been considered a strong force. Perhaps it'll, it'll tie the Jesuit order even more into the uh, to the uh, papacy and even more into serving the church universal. And Bishop Ricken says being the first South American Pope shows just how universal the church is. I think it's, it's too about that recognizing the number of Catholics in Latin America but also recognizing that we need to uh, reach out to the rest of the world as well, not just the European West. Bishop Ricken will celebrate a mass of thanksgiving for the new pope this Sunday at 9 a.m. at St. Francis Xavier Cathedral in Green Bay. In Green Bay, Beth Jones, Fox 11 News.